My dearest Eduardo, we have arrived safely with Captain Tomas Sanchez as our leader and guide. It is May 15, 1755, and Captain Tomas is calling this new Spanish settlement San Agustin de la Dedo. We have been granted permission to operate a family rancho, and we will be raising cattle, sheep, goats, horses, mules, and oxen. I suppose I will help with the chores around this new land we call home. It is very beautiful here, and there is a plethora of cactus and limestone from the riverbanks that we will be using to build our home. Until next time, te amo. Mi querida Eleonor, I am glad that you have arrived safely from your voyage. It gives me great pride that Captain has named that new colony after our city here in España. Tu querido Eduardo. My dearest Eduardo, our Captain Tomás has arranged for a priest to come and give Mass to us humble people. It is only a small mission chapel but it is very well needed, as it is our safe haven for when the Indians attack. The captain has even dug tunnels so that we can hide. The church is being called San Agustin. Until next time, te amo. Mi querida Eleonor, I know as well as you that a Catholic sanctuary is of great importance. It is through our faith in God that we will be reunited one day. Please stay safe, my love. Tu querido Eduardo. My dearest Eduardo, it is the year 1757 and our quaint little rancho has grown. We are 11 families now and have a hundred cattle, a hundred and twenty-five mules, seven hundred and twelve horses, and nine thousand and eighty-nine sheep and goats. There is much work to be done here in San Agustin de la Dedo. Tomorrow, my father will take part in a cattle drive, the first of its kind. He will be traveling from a place called San Antonio and head to Saltillo. They are calling themselves vaqueros. Their roundups of wild cattle are mesteños. Until next time, te amo. Mi querida Eleonor, it sounds like Laredo is growing tremendously. I would like very much to join your father on one of these roundups. Maybe one day this will be possible. Tu querido Eduardo. My dearest Eduardo, the year is 1821 and we belong to Mexico now. Today, trade was disrupted by the raids of the Camachi and Apache Indians. The Carrizo Indians are no longer a threat to us. Most have died of disease or have assimilated into our culture. Until next time, te amo. Mi querida Eleonor, it upsets me that you might be put in danger by these Indians. How I wish I was there to protect you, my love. Continue to pray. Mi querida, tu querido Eduardo. My dearest Eduardo, the year is 1845 and we are at war with the United States of America. They are calling it El Anixion de Texas. I am scared. Until next time, te amo. Mi querida Eleonor, I will be embarking on a voyage to finally be with you. I should arrive in two months. I will meet you in front of the church, San Agustin. Tu querido, Eduardo.
My dearest Eduardo, I am not sure if you will receive this letter. It has been a year since you said you would arrive. I only pray that you are safe, but my soul tells me otherwise. I hope that wherever you find yourself, you'll know that I am at peace and safe now. Many of the families have left back to Mexico. However, I've decided to stay and wait for you, my love. Te amo.